start with begin. Um, well, I mean, well, I want to talk about Brooklyn Manor, but you, when you say beginning, you were in beginning. Brooklyn Manor then. Yeah, I didn't hear. You just been at another unit, yes. and they moved you around. Yeah. I want you to talk about that yeah, empty yeah. one, that empty building they put you in. That I was okay. living there. They, they, they actually so, they moved me from. Uh, I mean, I so we not yet, but uh, we got you. All right, we're gonna go ahead and begin. Am I going to have a pilot? Wonderful. All right. So, Mrs. Lawrence, how long have you, you a resident in Brooklyn, Maryland? Yes, I am. Um, how long have you been a resident? Um, I'm going to say since I was about 18, 19. Really? Yeah, since I was 18, 19. Okay. Yeah. But I've been on this property since my mom's. Wow. So, I don't know how old you are, but... Yeah. 43, I mean, yeah, 44. So over 20 years. 44, yes. Yeah, a generation, mm -hmm. roughly. And your kids reside with you here. Yes, my daughter was, she, I'm going to say she's like two, my oldest one. Mm -hmm. She was two, and uh, my other kids was born here. Number two, my boy and my brother. So I have three all together. So let me ask you, you have you, uh, you've had some, um, difficulties since you've been here? On this property, yes. On this property. Yes. On not this actually property. within this property. It's not in like this property. This property, let we'll us say, but um, in, um, it started with 1335. Mm -hmm. Apartment 1. Right. Before they tore it down. Before they tore it down. Mm -hmm. So you had problems with management, you had problems with maintenance. You had problems with administration, mm -hmm. from what I'm understanding. So, um, just give me an idea on where your problems began at the beginning. Um, um, you, it started like in 2015 mm -hmm. when they um, decided to, I guess, renovate these apartments, sell these apartments, when they was getting ready to sell these apartments. Mm -hmm. And they wanted to loop. Um, I guess uh, make us unaffordable to be living here. Some of the tenants. The one is high standard on that property. I guess I was a high standard tenant because I was working, housekeeping was fine, was no problems with the rental office for you know, you know, for years. Um, and I guess they knew that. And then um, it started with my oldest daughter. Um, I went to the rental office because they were saying that the kids or your uh, family members or whoever was part of your your family, um, you were um, how what I want to say um, if you was to be accounted for of things that they that we have done in your property, mm -hmm. you know. So my daughter was a problem child at the problem at the time, and they knew that. I went to Miss Miss Young at the time, and I was asking for help. You know, because they were threatening to throw us out because of our kids. Mm -hmm. But I was getting help with her throughout the system, you know. And um, they knew that. She knew that. So I think she baited me in. You know, that's one of the ways that she was going to get us out of here. You know, but I didn't know that at the time. But it don't take a lot of time to know that's what she was doing. Mm -hmm. So um, she was around 16 years old. I was living at 1335. After they finally transferred me out of one bedroom with three kids. You know, one living, bedroom with three kids. I was living in one bedroom with three kids for a long time. They would not transfer me. Miss um, Freeman had the property at the time, mm -hmm. and um, she would, she had put me into a uh, transfer me from the one I was when I first got my apartment. Then she put me on 1430, uh, 1402 down the street. Okay, that was the one bedroom, and I had all my kids there. And I asked, was asking for upgraded because we was just over overcrowded, you know. So it was um, they was giving me a hard time. It was people that was just moving on the property. It was moving them in two bedrooms, three bedrooms, but somehow they would never give me one. So that was my issue at that at that time. So finally, um, once I got my child in, you know, uh, with the courts, you know, getting help for my child, mm -hmm. then they decided to move me on because she had help. So you know, she had, she had a social worker, a lawyer, you know, helping her. So I guess that's how they moved me into the build uh, department that I um, that, that I deserve, right. which was a uh, four bedroom because I had a boy and two, um, two girls you know, um, along with me. So anyway, um, make a long story short on that, 
they moved me. They was moved me to another unit, which was supposed to be 14, 14, 15, 14, 13, whatever, on the other side of the property, which I was supposed to be qualified for. But somehow the pop property they gave me, they knew that was a problem, problem building, I guess, you know. So they moved me in there. I accepted it because I needed it. It was a full bed. So um, from there, that's when they decided to. Um, Downsize these apartments and get rid of the, um, mm -hmm. the uh, us, you know. Issue yeah, so then they sent me a fraction line. And that was in March, in March of 2015. Mm -hmm. And uh, the fraction letter was um, something that had something to do with some kids, two uh, males um, in the hallway. Mm -hmm. Which it was a that was always always happened before I even moved there. Was this your first infraction letter from the first the very first infraction mm -hmm. letter? I didn't even know nothing about these letters at all. Right. And then um, I got on the door and um this was after I was talking to Miss Young and you know, I was asking her what she um asked I actually I was asking her to take my daughter off the lease because she was coming to a certain age that she could be taken off the lease, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um so they would never take my daughter off the lease. Even though she was 18 years old, and I was asking for help, and she was not even with me no more. She was living with her aunt, and I had her in a um, group home or whatever. Right. She was supposed to be off the lease, and um, so they would never take off the lease. I didn't know why. So then, um, after all that, she um, she was like um, prolonging me, giving me all these excuses. You know, I'll get back with you, Miss Islam. I will never get in touch with her. She'll never be in the office. You know, da da da. da. So then I got the letter on my door um, after I got off work. I worked from um, well, it was 6 in the morning to 2 o'clock in the evening. So actually, I had to be at work at 7 o'clock in the morning. You know, in the morning. So I had to be, you know, get the kids together, sure. you know, prep myself to get to work. So they knew that. She knew that. So anyway, um, um, Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, the letter came to my door when I got home. It was a letter about two meals. It's, um, entering my home at two o'clock in the morning, they were smoking in the hallway, whatever they were smoking, and um, they said they entered my home. So I took it to. Um, they said cure the problem or vacate the premises. So I took it to the um, to the um, window office. I ain't know I had no understanding of this. So once I went to the window office, it was Miss Young. A whole lot of people was there. Even the police guy that was living on the property and some other security guards, and we didn't ever know none of these people. From there, from campaign. So anyway, um, I questioned them about the letter. So they, the man, Ms. Johnny was speaking, Ms. Mr. His name was Mr. Vance, mm -hmm. whoever he was. It was a security guard, and he said um, he put the letter on the door because he um, caught the guys entering my home. So I said, Well, you caught the guys into my home. Why you ain't knocking my door at two o'clock in the morning? Mm -hmm. You know. And I said, I get up and I gotta work, and my kids gotta be work. So I'm in the bed around that time. They don't have no. 18 year old, 19 year old entering my home. Right. My daughter, not, my daughter's 18, I think around that time, and she's not even home. So this is an accusation, and you, you challenged it. Yeah. And they're threatening you with eviction. Mm-hmm. So what happened subsequently? So uh, actually, when I, the reason why I took the letter to them, they said it was at night time, but the letter had actually said in the morning time, mm. meaning. That um, I'm in the bed. So it's a conflict with the right. Thing. So the yeah, time frame actually. that they put down there, they made it up. Right. It was no way possible that that that, that would right. happen. So uh, no, actually, I'm sorry. The letter said it was 2 p.m. and uh, in the evening, right. which they said it was 2 a.m. in the morning. Right. So that's what they, they was telling me. So I put that 2 p.m. out, and I was like, 2 p.m. I'm at work. So right. how y'all saying somebody into my apartment? And there's nobody here. My kids in school. My oldest daughter's not even in my custody right now. So how is that possible? Mm -hmm. So that's when he was like, you know, it was a, a misunderstanding, you know. So I said, well, y'all yeah, might as well. Well, I don't know what y'all gonna do that. So they never gave me back the letter. Right. The first they never gave it back to you. No, they was never gave back to me. And, and something happened after that. And then um, a few months later, um, I had an incident that my um, um, my daughter had had a came home. And she came home here and she was having a baby. She had a baby, actually. And her god um, um, father came around to visit me and, you know, to help her out with the baby. And um, they went to the basketball court. Everybody's outside on a nice day. And somehow they seen tequila out there. So they harassed tequila. They bust his head on the, on the bleachers out there. Um, they chased my daughter. 
Um, they being the security guards. Really? Yes, they chased my daughter. Um, she had to run with her baby, left the baby on a on a on a um, on a on a basketball court. So everybody come running me, telling the security guards, police, watch, um, chasing your daughter. You know, for some prime reason. And um, so I went out there, had to go get the baby, and somehow they tried to arrest my daughter, but they couldn't get her, and she ran away. You know, but that was that. So after all that, then um, about uh, I must say April. A month later after that, I went to Miss Young. I went to her and asked her what was the problem about that. She said she going to handle it, which she never did. You know, I never got, they never got back with me on that situation. So, um, so, um, they bought my daughter from the property, of course. Um, then not even that, um, then, uh, in April of 2015, one night, shutting lights off, camera, they had a camera in my house. A camera. A, a camera in my a life. A camera fixture. hidden in your life fixture. Yes, my life fixture. Yes. And um And you you took it down eventually. No, I could not take it down. You couldn't take it down. And I'm not a maintenance, so I could not take it down. Right. You know, I got witnesses, I went and got neighbors, I was scared, I went and got neighbors and we all discovered the camera. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, we tried to get it down but we couldn't we couldn't get it down. And um somehow the next morning it was gone. They put a whole new Light fixture, a whole new fixture up there, a whole new towel. The next morning it was gone. On a Saturday. They came to make this mouse and put a whole new one up there. I got witnesses, I still have the picture. And you attempted to, to even secure an attorney. Yes, I did. And how did that go? Somehow when nobody helped me. Hmm. When nobody um, even take my nothing, they didn't even want to talk to me. I called um, Johnny Crocker for, um, actually no. What I did was waited that weekend. I went that Saturday. That, that uh, throughout the morning, I found it, uh, it was gone. And um, I went back upstairs and I had the same witnesses. And they was like, "What? What? That? You know, we was clueless." <laughs> so I went and knocked on a guy. He was a police officer um, that lived on the property. Mm -hmm. I think he was in cahoots with the front office. And um, so um, I went and got him. And he came over there. And he, I, to me. I think he knew something about it too, because sure. it's, it's no way that he can just say, oh, you, it's nothing you can do about that. You might as well go ahead and leave that alone, and um, um, that looked like a maintenance job. Mm. And now you had a picture. I still have a picture. You still have a picture. Yes, I do. And that picture shows the, 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 the red the, light. The red light inside, inside of the here. The light, the child, so, all of that. Uh, one thing that, that, that stands out to me. You showed me you had some repairs that needed to be done. You had the problem in your bathroom. Mm, not right? there. Well, not, not there. But there. I want to relate the fact that they came that very next day. The mm -hmm. maintenance did. Mm -hmm. and took their fixture out. Well, they said they didn't do it. They right. said, she, Ms. Young. But, but why, why did they come and take the fixture? That the weekend, the rent office is closed, as you know. Right. No maintenance should, no should, maintenance be, should, should be coming but through they, your they showed up for that. Of course. Well, how sleep. that happened. Okay. So I'm moving all the way forward to recently, when you had a repair that needed to be done. Mm -hmm. How long did it take them to come and do that repair? Months. Out here or there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, months. 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 And so have you, had, yeah. have you had repairs where you requested them maintenance to come and fix it? Request them management? Yes. You had? You mm -hmm. had more than one? More than one. And it's taken them it's months. Months to come in. Here. Actually, the only way that I, the honest with you, the only way that I ever had repairs done, repairs done in my home, is the guy, Mr. James. He was the one that, that Monday when I found that camera. I went to Miss Young. Right. And mind you, you can never get in touch with Miss Young. Mm -hmm. She would never be in the rental office. You can't even get a meeting with her. It's right. hard to get in touch with her. You have to set an appointment up. But this particular time, she's in that in that office really? that day. And so we're that going, Monday, she we're knew going I was back coming. to 2015. Now it's 2022. Mm -hmm. How has your service been? Still sloppy. Still ain't nothing going on. I have to go to, through Mr. James. He gave me his personal number, mm -hmm. his cell phone number. I have to go through him. And when he ever get a chance to come to help me out. Then so how does. how is the process dealing with the landlord or with maintenance property management? Do you is it sufficient for you? No. And hasn't been. 
Only, only if they was to do a, like a bigger fashion around here or something uh, that they know people probably have to come in into my home, which they don't never into my home. I never had a special as long as I lived in this, on this property. What? From hood, nobody, never had really? a special, never, never. Let me I've switch been home gears. plenty of times. Cause you never. mentioned hood. Mm -hmm. So you work five days a week, am I correct? Mm -hmm. Um. Your rent is subsidized, am I correct? Yeah. And you have to recertify, am I correct? Yes. Yeah, every mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. Now they took it out to like every six months. Every six months. Mm -hmm. So with that burden of recertifying, you still meet that burden, right? You still no. give them what they need. Well, right? I mean, at the time I was, but right. they wouldn't accept it. They wouldn't accept it? They won't accept it. They won't accept no one. And this mandatory day is supposed to accept it because I work for the public schools. So mm -hmm. therefore, I get laid off every summer, mm -hmm. meaning that I'm unemployed. Right. Meaning I have to go either go with unemployment or drug, even find a job. So we have a contract with unemployment, so therefore we just automatically get unemployment right. at the job. I mean, uh, with unemployment. With unemployment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's only a phone call, let them know that we are off, and they automatically give us out unemployment. Mm -hmm. So therefore, um, at the time, Michelle was still there. She was in the rental office at the time, and uh, there was another lady had came on, Miss Tucker, Miss Turner, whatever that mm -hmm. is. She was another Miss Young too, and um, somehow they would not accept it. She said that I owe unemployment. They found out I owe unemployment, so they had to do some type of um, um, payments from that, which I don't understand. Do you go through this every year? I, ever since I found, ever since I took them to court about their camp situation, everything's been gone. Every really? Sideways. So mm -hmm. at this stage of your rentership, you um, you get notices that you owe them rent money. Hmm. Tell me about that one. I'm 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 looking at these, mm -hmm. right? So it says there's a balance due. For $90,000. $900,000. Yeah. And that's $92,000. Yeah, now up to now $90,000. $900,000. Uh, $96,000. Yeah, yeah, $561,000. This one's one twenty eight. So, so this is an accrued, an accrued, um, Balance that they send you up. No, not even that. Not even that. My rent is three thousand dollars a month. Really? Do you see it? Yeah, three thousand four hundred seventy. I'm seventy thousand. I've been according to my income since I, since 1998. Since I've been here, my rent been up and down. Either if I lose my job, if I'm not employed, I might go to twenty five dollars. Right. Or it's, it's according to the income. It's sub subsidized yeah. based on your income. Mm -hmm. But they keep sending you these notices. Yeah, and they say you owe ninety two thousand dollars. My question to you is Actually before that uh -huh. they actually called me uh, like a year ago, um, and asked me am I willing to come and pay on um, that right. bill and I said, How? Y'all supposed to take me to court. Y'all told me y'all take me to court. Y'all stop my rent, take me to court. Ninety two thousand mm dollars. -hmm. Um and you're subsidized. Mm -hmm. So, have they taken you to court yet? Nope. And, and they're saying you it's owe them four years, I think. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So, but they haven't given you a court date. No, um, actually... How does this make you feel to see this on your door every month? Because they put this on your door it's, once a month. It's, right? it, 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 it's not a good feeling. I mean, I know it's wrong. Everybody can say, don't worry about it. But that's something to worry about. That's, that, that's something to worry about. I could be homeless, you know, it, it, it will take that one judge to say, Mr. Islam, you, you know, oh, and then when I'm homeless. Does that stress you out? Stress is, you, mm -hmm. and, and, and. It stressed my mom out. My mom passed away in 2016. I was going with her, she, I was going to her with my problems. She had breast cancer. I asked Brooklyn Manor, can my mom come and help, can I help my mom stay here with me, you know, help her. Yeah. She told me no. Miss Joe White told me no. No. They wouldn't let you be your mother's caregiver? She said no. She cannot come here. She said no. At the time, 
uh, with my problems about the camera situation. I, I went everywhere, but I went to the hood, and they told me, uh, the expert, he asked me, he said, do you want, do you want me to, all we can do for you is move you. I said, no, I don't want to move. I don't, that's not me to be moved up there. You know? Yeah. I, I, I don't feel moved. I need justice. He said, mm. well, that's what you need. He said, that's the only thing you want, the only thing that's going to help you here. He said, there's nothing we can do for you. HUD told me this. So, HUD told you that they would basically address the symptom, but not the root cause of the problem. Not the cause. Yeah, yeah. And then I went to HUD again, and before the pandemic hit, in March, I talked to Miss, uh, I forgot her name. I got her information though. Mm -hmm. And um, all she told me was to bring everything I had, and um, she'll go over it. And I said, no, that's not a good idea. So let me ask you this, Mrs. With, with with this long history, of issues that you've had with them. When you try to get assistance from it, the, the government, no. I went to the government, I went to the courts, I went to everybody, nobody. I had a court case. They gave me a court case and um, they gave me a pill for it, uh, for the camp situation and um, somehow they prolonged me again and um, they had a statutory limit some limitation yeah, rights. Limitations, uh, okay, so which I didn't know nothing about that. And um, they said that that had kicked in, so I could not bring that case in court. Yeah. Boom. I had American University lawyers that helped me with that. Right. They prolonged me. Those, those tenant associations. They prolonged yeah. me. They prolonged me. All of them was in cahoots. They took me to a media, mediation, media, wherever people uh -huh. is. They took me around the table. And they told me, in order for me to stay on my property, um, I would have to bar my daughter. My daughter can't come to my home no more. Only on special occasions, um, like a birthday, not for a couple, for only for a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. She could come from my mom's family room to get dressed. They, um, they, they she have, could, um, um, yeah, she she tenant, the landlord tenant court that's supposed to help. Uh, Ms. Coleman, Ms. Coleman, and all, uh, well, I had only one lawyer. He was the only one helping me out. His name was Mr. Jeff. His name was Jeff. He told me anytime that if I had to help anybody to help me, he would come forward for me. He was the only one willing to help me. Right. And once he was willing to help me, they took him off my case. Really? They, yeah, they took him off my case. So and So do you have a, a, any attorney help now? I had some guy named um I can't even remember his name now. He haven't talked to me since he said he was gonna help me. Uh, what's his name? Um <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it's been a, it's a long time. But the people we have have not been helpful to you. Nobody will help me. I went to every lawyer, law, law, law firm in, in D.C. So um, let me ask you this. To... When's the last time they accepted your rent? The last time I ever paid rent probably was like in 2019, if I'm not mistaken. Really? Yeah, that's for $598. But they, but they keep cert recertifying you. No, I don't be certified. I'm not be certified. They will not be certifying me. Really? Yep, they say that they won't do, say no rent from me or they won't be certified me until they take me to court. So they have not taken me to court but yet. They haven't taken you to court. Nope. I just took, I, had, I got and an advocate, Miss Ronder. She's helping me and um, she, even, me and her, even talked like, recently with her in the office for a ledger, and they took a long time to give me that, <laughs> so they finally gave it to me. Right. Because we recalled them again. Excuse me. No books. Um, but we called them again. Yeah, um, so, and she asked them, um, do all y'all, all y'all, do y'all have either a court date or anything set for Mrs. Lyle? They said, no, not at this moment. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they keep saying you owe. Mm -hmm. These tens of thousands of dollars. Yeah, I went to, I went to DC State, State DC. Um, they helped me, but I don't even know how much they helped me for. You're in COVID. Yeah. They helped you, but you don't know how much. Nope. They gave you don't know how office. much they gave the rental no. office on all your I, behalf. All I know, the rent, all, all I know is they called me back. I mean, they emailed me and said the rent office is still trying to um, um, apply for money for you. And but you have to do it, they can't do it. Mm -hmm. And I called him asking, Why is he why is you calling these people asking the money for me? 
And I'm not even, you know, I'm not even communicating with you about nothing. He said, well, we can do that. That's our job to do that. Really? That's yeah. the response they gave you. Mm -hmm. so, so at I this stage, it. Mrs., uh, um, with this long history, um, why haven't you just up and left? For what? That's what they want me to do. I'm not leaving. I shouldn't have to leave. I ain't do nothing to leave. <laughs> they did something to me. You willing to pay your rent, right? I was willing to pay my rent. I'm not paying them ninety-two thousand dollars. Right. I can't afford that. That's right. they. They need. To, they need to be paying me that. <laughs> uh, they. They. They burnt. They. they um. What you call that? Um. They. Um. What do you call that? Um. Uh, um. Reverse. No. Uh, no. 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 Um. Dang. What you call that? I get every time I talk about this. Um, um, dang. Valley, first and foremost. Um, okay. Not valley, uh, but uh, it's another word for. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They transgressed. They, they. Um, hmm. Invaded, no. invaded my privacy. Oh. They invaded my privacy with the camera. Yes, they did. Yeah, that's that's hard to... Me and my kids. That's hard my, to... My son right now, I mean, it was so hard. They had us living in the abandoned building for almost a year. Abandoned building? Abandoned building. They moved everybody out on that side mm -hmm. but me and my kids. Everything was dark. They took all their shit, all the lights down. Only thing I had light was now my apartment. And you were living in that Me and building. my two babies. Living so I had to wait. I had to wait until... Nighttime and for them to get real sleepy, yeah. To or in order for them, you know, for us to get some rest. So, so spooky. they caused you trauma, trauma over the years. Trauma, I mean, it's beyond trauma. I don't need to sleep at night, I don't like to look at little red Like, I used to, I used to take little lights up, <laughs> I yeah. used to take lights up around my house, but I stopped that because you know. You know, my family would say, you know, go ahead, leave it alone, let go get gone, all you know, stuff like that. But it's not. Um, I had to get a dog, <laughs> yeah. sleep with lights on, TV. You know, I don't need to get sleep half the time. My son and my kids used to sleep together. We all used to sleep in one bed. It's hard for me to get them out of my bed. Yeah. You know, and it, it's sad. My son's going through something right now. Well, you know, um, do this. At this mentally. At this stage. What would you like to see happen? I mean, uh, justice. What, what, what else can what else can you get out of this? Right, right. Justice. Somebody at least scared. So I, let me tell you something. I I I've, mm -hmm. I've had a court. They called me two o'clock in the morning, and told me do not from a court cha a judge chambers and said, Miss Isla, your court has been your case has been dropped. You don't have to come to court today. Really? I screamed to the top of my lung. You hear me? I had my, my cousin was living with me and uh, my friend of mine was living with me. When did that happen? This was, um... Was it 2019, 2020? Was it before COVID? It was before COVID. Before COVID? Mm -hmm. When I had the court case, I can't... When did I this start happening? They just... It's still happening. You're yeah, right. It's just happening now. Yeah, well... But I mean, this is... This, look at this, this, this. Look at this. This not no... This not a... We didn't... We, I, I've never got a, a fly. This is like a fly. I've never got this. Right. This is. Yeah, it's the one with your name on it. But I mean, have they been giving this to you since 2015? No. When did they start this? They just started this uh, after the, the the pandemic. After the pandemic. Yeah, no, actually during the pandemic. Really? Yeah, actually during the pandemic. And they just bust out. You owe. You owe. It was going. It was starting. It started from like 2000. Because they put, they took me up to three thousand dollars. They said I would. They said I would not be certified. I've been recertified all my life. Right that now. was my question to you. So I've been recertified been re all my life. Yeah. So you've been recertified. They just won't accept it. Correct. They won't accept it. Actually, Miss Bachter, man, Miss Bachter, she used to, she used to have my paperwork for me because you know I get off of work at a certain time, mm -hmm. and she's had everything done for me. So all I had to do is come in and sign my, my signature. The certification, that's it. She'll call my job. Now they call my job. She emailed my 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 HR, my supervisor, Miss Um Waisha. 
and they communicate like that. Why should send the shit send why should some why should send it back to her and that's how I, I get my own stuff. Been like that for yeah. some time. Years. Years. For no years. problem. Years. When did this difficulty in that process begin? Two thousand nineteen. Really? Mm hmm Last time she called me in the rental office. I've been in the rental office for a whole month to to, to be certified. Mm -hmm. I had got New York Avenue, um, Miss 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 Vance, Devon, Miss Devine. Mm -hmm. She was a uh, she worked with one of the attorneys down New York Avenue. Mm -hmm. She was helping me out before the pandemic happened, and she pandemic whatever that is. She told me she's no longer she can help me because uh, the government shut down, so she couldn't help me no more. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's his name, Mister Nick? That's his name. He worked for that firm, firm right now today. He's supposed to be helping me. He's actually supposed to be my lawyer. Right, right, right. Yeah, he said, yeah, he, I wanted he, to said get he was going to gonna, he, he said he's gonna, uh, um, help me with my case. And we've been be communicating for a minute. And ever since then, he's not been communicating. It's been months since you've talked to him. Yeah. He won't ask the phone this, for me. This particular term. He won't ask the phone for me. or none of that. He won't even answer the phone for your, 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 your advocates, huh? Nope. Oh. I don't know what last time they talked to him. But... I don't know. I mean, and I I didn't went down to the the, the attorney general office. I just right square. I took some paperwork right, down there. Right, the office of the attorney advocate. Yeah, them they um told me finally got a contact with me for some months after I went down there. And they told me there's nothing they could do for me because that case is old. Yeah. I mean, but they keep saying I was not um trying, 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 trying. I know at the time that the case was going on. It went into 2016, my mom had passed away, so it kind of took me away. Then my they homeless my daughter, named my daughter homeless. I had to take my daughter food on the corner to feed her and her kids. Then she had a baby, and my baby passed away because I couldn't help my baby, you know, help her with her baby. She didn't know what to do. So, you know, my baby passed away after my mom, so it kind of took me. Yeah shut my whole life down you know they moved me they moved me on the month on the weekend my mom filmed do you hear me they let me move in this apartment after they had me in a, in a, in a after i went to court and they and i won the case i guess the uh mediation oh they took me there and they told me in order for me to stay on the property is not um harassing the security guards which when they what they would they, what what they do to me right now today they told me um i couldn't drink smoke um, have no company. I couldn't, um, my daughter couldn't come. They told me, um, something else that, uh, order for me to stay apart. So Last ran. thing they told me, they stopped saying that, um, they put a camera in my home. I told them, nah, I'm not agreeing to that. I'm not agreeing to that. They want, that was in writing? They were asking you to Yeah, sign, the, sign the, the trainees was, the trainees was there. All my trainees was there. Miss White was there. Brooklyn man was there, some white man was there, I was here, you know, and they said, man, that's the only way they're, they're going to agree for me to stay on this property if I stop saying that, that they put a camera in my house. And I said, You're no. still here. I said, no, I cannot agree to that because y'all did put money in my house. Mm -hmm. I, and I told them I didn't want to go to a media, I want to go to a trial. I want to take my case to court. You know, I went to, they told me to go to, um, actually I went to the Reed Center. The reason is gonna offer me five hundred dollars to drop everything, stop saying anything about a camera or anything. Really? I yeah, uh, yeah. And this guy, I don't know who this guy was. He took me to the center and sat at the table. He spoke to some type of attorney, and I have to agree to sign some papers. I said I'm not signing that for no five hundred dollars now. Mm -hmm. I walked away. Then I went to Small Claims Court. Small Claims Court told me that. She said, you don't need to be here. This is not a case to be in here. You need to go to civil rights courts. I said, where's that at? And they sent me to the court building. Yeah. And that's when I got to appeal for court. I never been to the court. I never been in. I never seen a judge. Judge ain't never seen me. Judge ain't never seen the paperwork on me. Well, none of this. None of this. Not the camera. Yeah. They not never the saw nothing. They not the never seen violation. nothing. Not the rental. Nothing. This judge signed. Have... Did this judge sign this agreement and seen nothing? Mm. I don't know if this a woman or a man, but they signed it and they called me two o'clock in the morning and said, "Do not come no, to court, court that day." Why? 
And the last time Brooklyn Man took me to court, he stopped rent for six hundred and six hundred eighty something dollars. I mean five hundred and some some dollars for some reason, I don't know. And I had paid my rent that month in April the April two thousand eight nineteen, I think. Mm -hmm. I paid my rent, but they still stopped me. Said I owed them five hundred some dollars from somebody, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I think that was the way to get me in court. I hired so, Mr. Um You guy? still are here. Mm -hmm. You haven't moved. You don't plan on moving. I'm going to win. But you haven't gotten justice. I nope. Guess. That's what I need. And then I will move. I will go my merry way, but I need to be seen. I need a judge. I need I, I need someone to talk to besides these people just right. turn me down. But nobody helped me. And this, this, is, this needs to stop. This shouldn't have never started. Thank you, Mrs. Zell.